Hey everybody, welcome back to Star Trucker. It's a bit of a tumultuous time in our career, our freight hauling career at the moment. Uh, we're kind of stuck in this electrical field uh, because in the last episode, we managed to get the shock absorbers stuff that we needed to enter this area, but they've kind of all popped. And uh, I think the only place we can actually get spares, we need to go through the electrical storm. Uh, and the other problems are that the hull is setting at like 10%. So that's an issue. Um, our suit charger and our shock shielding, as you can see, is malfunctioning. Suit charger has no power and the shock shielding obviously has no shock pods. So my plan was to go back to the junk fields, see if maybe we can't get something there. Uh, otherwise, I actually don't know what we're going to do. Um, to give you an idea... There is a sort of service that's just, that's Tommy T's bar and star girl. We could head on over, actually, you know what, let's try, let's try to do that. Uh, we're going to head on over to the grill and see if there's not maybe a shop or something, because thankfully Tommy T's bar is not in any sort of uh, vicinity of the shock electrical storms. So let's hope they have a shop. Otherwise, we might be in a bit of problems. Yeah, no. Ooh. Oh. Okay. So that's a no-go. The other place we could potentially get um yeah you see the problem is, is that we can no 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 no. there we go sorry let's get back there uh we could try to get to spark city but spark city is slap bang in the middle of an electrical storm which is kind of how we landed in this in the first place uh so yeah a bit of a pickle we got going on like i said my best bet i think is to probably go junk fields we can get back without going through the electrical storms so we should be able to repair ourselves uh while we're there actually we might as well try and see if we can't find any spare parts maybe we do a salvaging run through the junk fields that actually could be a good idea so we're gonna do that uh wondering if going through here isn't gonna help us oh right the radio is not on gotta get them tunes going uh, uh, that looks sus. Can I go under the storm, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Let's go under the storm. Just gotta hope that we don't. <laughs> Okay, looks like we're bypassing the storm. Uh, okay, yeah, I think we're I think we're gonna be okay. So yeah, once we get back to the junk fields, we'll have a look at what we can do there, and then I think it's time to get serious about doing some freight hauling, so that we can get some upgrades. Because I'm getting the sense that we're progressing into the story a little bit underleveled, if that makes sense, you know. Okay, we're gonna try and hit just straight up so we can align with the gate a bit. I'm gonna slow down. Try and roll a bit. Okay, I think we're we're doing better. And uh, there we go. So I've gotten better at using the hood ornament uh, as a bit of a guiding sense for us. Great. Okay, so we'll just have a quick look here as well. Oh, gate status. There we go. The air filters seem to be holding up quite nicely, so our cab oxygen is good. 
Uh, great. Gravity compensator is offline. I don't know why. Why is our compensator offline? Right. Okay. Um, that's also a problem because our core systems are about to go as well. I just want to... Mm. What are we supposed to do about this? We just have to sort of navigate like that, I guess? Yeah, I think this is going to just be a better camera for this section. Um, so we've got a body shop, which the problem is I just, I don't know if the body shop is the paint. If it's just uh, a paint shop like Diego's or if we're going to be able to repair yeah problem is we're going to have to go fix that because otherwise although mind you I think the cab pressure will be fine until we get to the shop it's going to be expensive Gonna have to do a lot of jobs to pay all this off. Okay. Look, even if we can just get the integrity up, we can get, then get to Emerald Junction. Uh, perhaps we can maybe pick some stuff up there. Okay. 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 Don't smack into it. Don't smack into it. Oh, jeez. Or was that just merciful driving? We'll never know. Oh, great. $3,000. Of which we only have 1800 Okay. So this is customization. Which is great. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to. This is an automated banking alert. Yeah, yeah, yeah no. Uh, have pushed your account into an agreed overdraft. Uh, please I hear you. The approved limit to avoid restrictions on future purchases. Okay. Uh, I just want to have a look. I know those are done. It's just the energy cells and I don't think I have any spares whatsoever yeah suit charger is dead so we can't do anything about that really okay our best bet is actually just gonna be to go to Emerald Junction uh, we absolutely have to get some spares for the core systems so we'll make that a priority yeah that's the way we want to go uh we did try visiting smithson starworks the last time but there was nothing there which was interesting okay uh, we could float around the junk fields, uh, but it's a bit risky at the moment, considering our core system could be shutting down very soon. So, yeah, I think let's go to Emerald. Um, pick up some spares. See if maybe there's a good couple of jobs. Maybe we can do. Just try and get some cash flow. Fantastic. So let's head on over to Goodman Tower. We'll do that. 
We'll just avoid that giant chunk of debris. Interesting. Okay, so yeah, we need to get to the supply shop. This is gonna be expensive. What's well, maybe actually not a bad idea though. Got you. Is maybe what we can do is just before we Cool, let's get the docking camera. Sorry, uh, realized that I just stopped myself mid sentence. <laughs> what I meant to say, sorry, was um, we can try and remove these old energy cells so that we can also just sell them back and get some, some credits that way. So it might not be a lot, but you know what? It's something. Okay. Nice. Alrighty. We're just gonna... She didn't even see if they've got what we need, but we don't really have much of a choice, do we? Oh, thank gosh. Okay. Well, these are all popped, so... We might as well just remove them anyway. Right. Remove you. Uh, what else? Ah, yes. Can you just go over there? Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, cool. Yeah. And then we just gotta close that. Sell, 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 sell. Fantastic. So, um, okay. Well, we don't have much of a choice, do we? Thankfully, filters were okay on. Uh, yeah, these shock pods are stupid expensive. Uh, which is why I'm thinking it might not be a bad idea to, you know, go into the the, the junk fields and actually just try and get those. And then I think another thing is and i should have done it the last time was even though those cases were empty sort of floating around um even though they were empty i should have actually just brought them to the truck and sold the cases because i think the cases are quite valuable as well uh regardless of whether they're empty or not so okay cool we have some supplies at the very least but that in the oxygen generator i'm wondering if these didn't drain a bit while the shock fields kind of damaged the hull and stuff okay that honestly went a lot smoother than i thought it was going to um i really was quite worried that we actually weren't gonna we were gonna have to go to some severe debt to all oh, right I needed to get for the core systems. Um, I don't think the shop actually has any other. I don't, they are they physically don't have any other salt. There might be. I was just thinking. So what we can do is for the moment, just drop that out, and then, yeah. I mean, night lock systems will be fine, right? Well, actually, sorry, let me finish this sentence, is that... Um, I keep interrupting my own thoughts. 
So what we can do is there's another station in this system. Maybe we can head over there quickly and just see if there's not... There, sorry, Tiger Rock Station is what I wanted to... Is what I was referring to. So we can maybe just head over here quickly, have a look at the shops here, see if there's anything we can get, uh, extra power cell or two for the core systems, and then replace the one for the mag system as well. And then I think we're okay for the moment, sort of. Um, yeah. Yeah, I like I was thinking even in the last uh our last go around maybe we can take the suit charging energy cell and, and chuck it into the core system which i mean obviously makes sense but um i don't want to get into a habit of swapping out power cells for systems and stuff okay so not with a shop but there is a job board okay well you know what we need a job anyway all right so Let's have a look. And I think for the moment we're somewhat fine. Yeah. And like, you know what? I don't want to make a habit of it, but hey, you know what? If we need to take out that suit charging energy cell, we take out the suit charging. It's, it's, it is what it is, right? is not aligned but can we get aligned maybe uh, what's the actual okay okay we should be aligned now Good, 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 good. Bit of a slow start. But these things are necessary. You know? Maintenance, all that stuff. Ooh, 2300. Emerald Junction to Atlas Prime. It's a rush delivery, so it ex so they expect it. You know, fast, fast. Uh, that's great. And then, so Emerald Junction to Atlas Prime. So I need to go back to Emerald Junction. So, in that... Let's find some Atlas Prime to Emerald. This is great. Right? Because we got pick this up, we take it to Emerald. Then, while we're in Emerald, we pick up the other cargo and we bring it back to Atlas. Fantastic. That should give us, like, what, 10,000 payout? Sorry, just to climb quickly. Uh, oh, uh, I, I'm actually, I'm, I'm incorrect. I'm in Emerald Junction. <laughs> I'm an idiot. If you've been screaming at the screen that I'm in Emerald Junction, I appreciate you. Because I'm an idiot. So, it's fine. It's just the other way around, right? So we just take this job. We take it to Atlas, and then from Atlas we get that... So we take that one. Right? Then... See, while we're in Atlas, we pick up... Which is the best one here? Is it this one? The 2-2... Two -two. I think so. Looks like it. Yeah. Sorry. Triple checking. Atlas Prime. So, Atlas Prime, we will pick it up there. Cool. Got you. Great. There we go. Emerald Junction, Atlas Prime, Atlas Prime back to Emerald Junction. And like I said, that should give us a good like five grand payout. Hopefully, if all goes smoothly. Ugh, keep forgetting. Uh, that's weird. Probably a glitch. Yeah, it's a glitch because it's, it's duplicating both of them for some reason. Interesting. Let's go pick up this cargo. Hmm. 
yeah and then like i said not only will this will will we start getting some some good money to get ourselves out of debt which i don't think we are in anymore um we need to start putting some upgrades into this truck of ours uh specifically the the things like thrusters and stuff like that i want to just, just get a, a little bit faster you know just so we can you know get these uh get these jobs done quicker okay i think that should be straight back Mm. Loading up the big rig. Great. We need to head for Atlas Prime, which we have to go through uh, Medusa 6. Great stuff. Okay. We at Galaxy Wear have been crafting reliable, safe space suits for decades. Now, using our innovative textile technology for everyday outfits. The strong, stretchy fit you love, now in a multitude of styles. Shop Galaxy Wear today. Uh huh. Rocking from star to star. This is Gold Rock Radio. Radio for the road. For the road. I think in Atlas Prime, we'll also just stop at a shop. Uh, see if we can't maybe pick up a couple energy cells as well. Okay. Express gates to Medusa 6. Just trying to line with this uh, gate a little bit better. Slow down a bit. Oh. Let's not hit the sign and get fined like we did the last time. Okay, cool. We're aligning with the gate. Oh yay! There's no place a security checkpoint. Which and gosh. Uh Atlas Prime is up this way. Okay. Uh core systems holding. For the most part. Mag system's also okay for now. Um Yeah. I'm not worried just just yet. I just don't want to put too much strain on this single energy core. For you know the core systems. That's gonna hit. Okay, okay. Let's slow down. Keep in Another upgrade that I want to also look at is um, like core system optimization so that we use less power from the energy cells. Yeah, I think that will definitely be quite helpful. All you can do, brother. Keep on keeping. Hungry? Thirsty? Tired? Get off the Galactic Road and stop at Starbreak. Starbreak is always friendly, always stocked, and always open. Whether you're hauling or commuting, Starbreak has what you need. Drive by today. Right. Lean back. Starbreak. What we got? To gold rock radio. Okay, let's start approaching a bit softer. Straighten up a bit. 
Ooh, we rolled a bit much there. Okay. So we're gonna meet Barrow. Uh, first, let's just find off, find off. Sorry, <laughs> find the drop-off point for this cargo. Um, and then maybe what we can do is we can quickly go to Barrow. But actually, we still have that job to complete. So. Uh, actually, you know, let's drop this cargo off. I can't remember if New Liberty Terminal had a shop. I don't actually know. Let's have a look. It, is, it, will, it will technically be closest to us. Hopefully they will have a shop for us. Um, then yeah, we'll pick up what we need. Service air filters. I don't know what servicing the air filters means. What is that? Yeah. We're just going to slow down a bit. Gonna come in nice and easy. Okay, rude. Great stuff. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, let's quickly head over to New Liberty Terminal. Like I said, just want to have a quick look and see if they've got a shop for us so we can get some energy cores. I think I probably said that way too many times now. <laughs> Broadcasting non stop across the galaxy. You're tuned to Gold Rock Radio. Okay. Things have been going suspiciously well this episode. I'm worried. You know? Right, okay. Uh, yeah. Definitely. And then as for these... So if we do the job for... Now you see, the problem is they're like two grand a pop. So we can't get both anyway. I don't even think we can get... A... Well, we can actually get one, sorry. Oh no, wait, we can get two. I keep remembering we're cash positive. Great. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, is three necessary? Can we, I think we can handle the situation with two shock pods. It's a bit crappy because it's nice to be kind of, you know, over the... I know if we complete the other job that we've got lined up already...
Yeah. Do you know what? Actually, I'm going to. You know what? I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave that for now. Um. And the reason being is I think we'll stay out of those shock fields for a while, just so that we can get some more. Um. Could have actually removed that power salt first. Uh. Oh well. Is what it is, right? Oh wow, a 200. So, yeah, actually, sorry. And then, I want to see what uh, size power cells. Yeah. We need to actually stop putting all the big, you know, power cells into non critical systems. Like the two charges and stuff. I mean, I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, before we jet off, let's quickly just sell this this guy. Fantastic. All right. Oh, yeah. Let's have a look at these air filters and see what they mean by servicing them. Oh, okay. Maybe not that one. Is that this one they're talking about? Yeah, they are. I don't know what servicing them means. Does it just mean replacing them? I think it does, huh? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. 44% is a bit of a... Bit of a stretch, don't you think? Yeah. Okay. Um. Hmm. Service here. Okay. That's uh. I can't. I can't ignore it. I, can't, I just. I mean, I don't, yeah, they don't even have air filters. So, what is this? Shock sensitive. Uh, I'm not. I'm not even. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Data tape. Cheese Rob. Uh, okay. So that's what I'm saying. I think. Uh, actually reminds me a little bit of contraband, please. Right, where if we got the, the. You know, if we bought stuff from the traders, then the next round of traders that came in could offer us better prices and we could sell it for a profit. So I think things like these data tapes, um, the tanks and stuff like that, may be a good way for us to make some extra money, but I haven't actually seen some significant numbers, to be honest. I think it's easier to just actually take a freight job. But yeah, I suppose, I mean, extra couple bucks while we're at it doesn't hurt anyone. Speaking of freight jobs, though, uh, keep pressing the wrong button. Great. Let's get this job going. It is also a time sensitive job, so we want to hurry with it. Um, like I said, we'll meet Barrow and stuff later on. I think for now, a good idea is to focus on just doing some jobs, get some money, um, so that we can upgrade the rig. And then we can worry about the electrical fields. Because that stuff's expensive. Could also go through the junk uh, the junk fields. Again. Okay, that's gonna annoy me. So there we go. That's a better sight. See, for like, for example, I mean, the, the oxygen system, that, that could be using a whole lot less. I really feel like we can upgrade that to use a lot less, you know? Uh, I know we don't have much cash to upgrade stuff right now, so I'm not going to worry about it until we've done 
No, no, no. Oh, 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 thank you. Oh, jeez. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I wasn't going to hit the combo. Let's roll straight. Okay. I'm going to overshoot to the side just a bit to try and line up a bit better. There we go, that should be good enough. Sorry, just straighten up a bit there. Okay, that should be good. Fantastic. Okay, back to Emerald Junction. that you have a fuel problem okay well not really a problem i think we can handle it in emerald junction What the hell hit us? I don't see anything. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. Damaged the trailer a little bit, but that's fine. Try and move out the way of that. Okay. Gates are so finicky sometimes with where they want you. Oh, I have to stop dead. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Guys. We sell Inspection has concluded. Result is green. Great, thanks. Woo. Enjoy the rest of your journey. Shut up. Cosmos cash and carry. Big stock, small prices. Relax with laid back listening. Relax with gold rock. I mean that is seriously just stunning, right? Do we have a I don't think we have a photo mode. I think they're uh i think they're missing out what we could do actually you know what maybe what we could do is i could not mess around with with settings while uh, you guys are watching so 
what I could do. <laughs> but that, I mean, come on, that's, that's, like, that's cool. That's really, really cool. I was just trying to, I was trying to figure out if we couldn't remove the HUD. Just turn it off for a moment. I know I've said it before, uh, but I, I just I don't think in, I don't think there's there's enough praise really for for studios who almost under the radar just create such beautiful, incredible experiences like this. You know, I mean, it's such a sim simple premise that sounds almost goofy, right? I mean, you're you're a you're a trucker in space. Like, it sounds like a bad Saturday morning cartoon. But it's just, it's so... Everything has been so well done. It's polished. It's... It's it's also just the right amount of interactive, you know? I just think it's phenomenal that... Games like these are not put out... I guess more mainstream is, is what I'm trying to say, but maybe not really. Um, okay, sure. I'll, I'll just, just, I'll wait for you to finish talking. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Fool. Yeah, we've got enough fuel to get to the drop zone. Um, I think after the drop zone, we can worry about refueling. Uh, I just want to make sure that we actually get this delivery done on time and that we don't lose any any points. Uh, what's going to be better is it? Let's just have a look. Uh, maybe we come in from this angle. Because we actually should have gone around there. Huh? Yeah. Oh well, we're here now. Oh, oh geez. Okay. We have done something. Let's. Hmm. Won't lie, if I had to find out that my package was delivered by someone who did this, I'd be I'd be livid. But you know, we're not gonna. Yeah. Let's just slow down a bit. But yeah, really, I just, I, I can't believe the games like this are just not more standard, you know? Careless driving, when? Oh, okay. I mean, a bit rude. But sure, if you say so. Okay, cool. Um, Yeah, I think that's great. In terms of supplies, I think we're okay for now. Even the core systems are okay-ish. Uh, we'll head to the fuel station. I think we'll... Yeah, meat bear. Okay, no, that's fine. We're gonna... We're gonna worry more about doing some jobs. Just for the meantime. Um, yeah. I think we'll worry about... About just, just earning a bit of bucks. First. And then... I think we'll just go and upgrade some systems before we worry about carrying on the story a little bit. Um, just because that, that Spark City episode really, really just made me realize that I, I think we're uh, heading into some some craziness that I don't feel like we are prepared for. So, no harm in doing that, right? And also, it's just going to make jobs a bit faster. It's going to make the, the truck a bit more responsive. So, hopefully, we can get some, you know... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah. I actually don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, guys, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And thank you so much for your support throughout this entire series. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm absolutely... I'm just... I'm super, super stoked that you guys are enjoying this. Um, and I'm, I'm happy that I can still bring some, some modicum of entertainment, or at least I hope so. Uh, and some laughter to your day. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, cheers. Thanks, bye.